Well, as if you uh, have just joined us, let's show you what he's done so far. Look at this one from Soderberg. That was early on. Top tracer following the flight of that. That was quite a low one. Perfect. He's turned into a really solid performer out here until generally on most leaderboards at some stage in the week. No, he's played the draw, but I think he's left it out there. It's hard to hook it that much. That's your bad one, you're doing all right. Yeah, we saw Forstrom hit it, what, 12 feet right of the hole? Totally misread it. Can Soderberg make a better attempt than that? This is for Eagle. Way left, he's got to aim this. Well, that looks right to me. Yeah. It's uh, fooled two very good putters in a row, that. So that, that tells you... That's still all you need to know about this incredible golf course. You're not the only one, Sebastian. Fooled in those parts, John, on this green. Yeah, it did, yeah. It's um, obviously there's a bit of grain out there as well, but they've really... I mean, once you get out of 30 foot out of here, it's some real big sloping putts. Well, that's three in a row for Sebastian Soderberg, so he's within four of the lead already. He's only played four holes. as you have on quite a few holes here. Soderberg does find another one, my word. Four in a row for the Swede. And yes, you are seeing, right, he's four under through the first six holes, uh, five holes, I beg your pardon. Now water all the way down that left-hand side. I think you'll find a lot of people not in that position down that left side. A lot of people will favour the right here. Soderberg down the left side of this six, his second shot now. Pins 40 paces on this green. It's a very long green front to back. Brilliant, that to go to five under. He's really turned into some player now, Soderberg. Well, Soderberg, this for five in a row at the six. No danger whatsoever. What a start from the Swede. So this for six on the spin. And they're not going in the edges of the holes either, these. They're all going in the middle. Brilliance from Soderberg. He has just made six straight birdies to lie six under through seven holes. I don't think he likes this one at eight. Oh, dear. You're not supposed to do that, Sebastian. We've given you the big build-up. Well, yeah, but of all the holes, you'd expect him to birdie this one, wouldn't you? The eighth, the par five. He could have gone back to the tee if he wanted to, but a little bit nearer. It's still two shots from here. Gets a bounce. Might be able to reach the net got a choice anyway to make so trouble can hit you at any stage on the mm, big one isn't it I think that's his five wood looked like a good line that oh it was a good line he's in the water again straight at it Yes, that wasn't going anywhere else once he took that first bounce. And he's done the same as Matt Southgate. Must be very grabby, the grass there. Oh, what a game. Soderberg back at the... Oh, yes, back at the eighth. This is now his seventh shot. Ooh, so that's going to be for an eight to drop three shots after that really splendid run of six birdies on the spin. Rather takes the wind out your sail, that one. 
Yeah, however, he has to remind himself that he had probably taken three under for nine holes, yeah. or at least after eight holes at the start of the round. So the run of six straight birdies is followed by a triple bogey at the par five eighth. And Soderberg tumbles all the way back to three under. Here in India, lying second to Loughton, here's Soderberg coming off the triple at eight. Well, he could reach the green. It's 3.05 to carry, but he's having none of it. Just trying to get the ball in play. And that's not easy on nine because it's narrow, but he's done a good job of it there. So we just have a little flick from there. So, wow, after that last hole. So, after an eight on the eighth, see whether he can make a three on the ninth and get one of those drop shots back. That's pretty good. Four under par with an eight. That's, that's extraordinary. Nine holes of golf, yeah. isn't it? Seven birdies a par and an eight. It's <laughs> incredible. What a card. stance there as if he was hitting a full shot back down the fairway normally if your feet are a little closer together and sort of just hunch over it a little bit but anyway this is a look at the 11th Soderberg long line just playing short of bunkers it was very nearly in that those little wispy little bushes that was close that so I think he'd be trying to play just left of the pin. Probably aim at the pin with the slope and just might pull it into the fat part of the green here. Soderberg. Yes, a little like that, as suggested there by Jamie. Across the green for Soderberg for another birdie. Well, it was a good try. A little bit short of pace. Seven birdies and 11 holes he's had, but he's only three under. That's pretty good, though. I think it's a nine iron. Stays up in the air forever, this one. Super shot from the Swede. Gets a pin high. It's more a case just feeling the distance there. Soderberg to get to minus four. <laughs> Back on the birdie trail. What a day it's been for Soderberg. Eight birdies. He said. Top leg left to right. Over the ravine. This three wood or five wood is perfect. Big wide fairway really with this club. No need to press. Now just be a wedge from there. Soderberg. Quite a demanding wedge shot. This is not much green to hit. It's on a slight little tabletop. This pin on that right hand side. There's a runoff area through the green. That's pretty good, though. There's yeah, some good stuff from this man. He's only really hit the odd bad shot, to be honest with you. Well, this is for his ninth birdie of the day for Soderberg. Can't hold them all. Fourteenth, four hundred and sixty-six yards. This, and the tee is sixty-nine yards up, and that's miles left. That is. Can I have another ball, please, Caddy? Is this his first ball? Must be. Didn't come out, did it, Rich? No, it's gone into one of these wispy little bushes. Well, Soderberg, this is 
the shot number five. Uh, that's, ooh, that could have easily gone down that swale. It hasn't. Well, it's playing six from there. What a the day he's having soda boat today. Quite remarkable. Soderberg, this is his sixth shot. He's had an incredible day, really. He's had an eight, triple bogey eight. He's had one drop shot on the tenth. That's another eight. Two of those, he said. Look at that card. You're going to have two eights, one on a par five, one on a par four, and you're going to be level par with four to go. He wouldn't have believed you. I'm level par. So you need a short memory in golf. 600 yard, he's just laying up here. It would be that classic post-round conversation, wouldn't it? How'd you go today, Sebastian? Oh, I made eight birdies. Oh, well done for level par. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Another birdie. This is his ninth birdie of the day. Yeah, oh. never anywhere else, was it? Let's be honest. So he's going to birdie at least half the holes out here today. At least. He's still got three to go. The 16th hole here for Soderberg down the slope. Fast putt from this left side for a two. He won't know what's hit, what's hit him here. He's going to get a par. Mm -hmm. It's 45 feet from where he is to the green up there in the hills. I'm straight at it. But now look at it. That's a tough two putt from there, that steep slope. Soderberg at the 17th, putting up a steep slope to start with. About in there. Very difficult to judge those downhill towards the hole. Soderberg up on 18 with his pitch shot and a pretty good one as well at that. He's not too happy, but what a day he's had. Well, Soderberg, this will be his 10th birdie of the day if he rolls it in. Wasn't happy with the chip shot. Putt slides by. He's going to break par, but pff, what could have been? The most amazing round of golf. Shake of the head. Look at that. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.